Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to solve rational equations. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve 1 minus 5 over y equals a negative 6 over y squared. Well, one thing I want to note here is what can y not equal? We're dividing by y and y squared. We know we can't divide by 0, and the only time we're, we'll divide by 0 is when y equals 0 for both of these values. So we want to note that y cannot equal 0 right off the bat. From there, I want to find the least common denominator across all parts here. Now, 1 over 1, don't really have to worry about that, but the y and y squared, well, that gives us the least common denominator of y squared. So what I'm going to do is take that and multiply all parts by that y squared, both sides of the equation. So I have a y squared here, that least common denominator, 1 minus 5 over y equals a y squared times a negative 6 over y squared. And what I do to one side of the equation, I can do to the other, but what this allows me to do is really eliminate the rational equation here. Okay, And this is one of the techniques that you can use here. From there, multiplying that out, y times or y squared times 1 is a y squared minus y squared times a 5y. I'll just write it out here for right now so we can see it. And we have a, well, a y squared times a negative 6 over y squared. You can write it as a fraction there. Well, we can see here y and the square cancel out, and the y squared and y squared cancel out here. So we're left with y squared minus a 5y left over, uh, and just a minus 6 on the right-hand side, minus a 6. If we bring that 6 over to the left-hand side, we're left with, I'll put it up here, we have a y squared minus a 5y plus a 6 equals 0. And now we can solve it any way we want and use a quadratic formula, but I'm going to use factoring here. Because once you got the basics of factoring down, I do think it's faster. Well, two numbers multiplied by 6, but add to be a negative 5, and that's a minus 2 and a minus 3. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6, but they add to be a negative 5. From there, we solve each individually for 0, y minus 2 equals 0, and y minus 3 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides, and y equals a 2, and y equals a 3, and we add 3 to both sides. So our two solutions here are y equals 2 and y equals 3, and I'll leave the check for you to plug back in to see if they are true, but I'll give you a hint, they are. So y equals 2, y equals 3 is our final answer for this rational equation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve rational equations, and if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.